With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, a balloon is going upwards with a velocity 12 meter per second. It releases a packet when it is at a height of 65 meters from the ground. How much time the packet will take to reach the ground? Take g equals to 10 meter per second square. And the given options are 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 7 seconds and 8 seconds. Okay, so basically we are given, okay, let's say this to be the ground level. Okay, and we are having a balloon which is going upward with a velocity of 12 meter per second. Okay, and at a height of 65 meters from the ground. Okay, so let's say at this height of 65 meters from the ground, this balloon is having a velocity 12 meter per second, right? And from here, it has dropped the packet. Okay, see the packet initially before it has been dropped the particle the packet would be moving in the upward direction with this velocity only okay with 12 meter per second only with the velocity of balloon right so packets velocity would also be 12 meter per second only with respect to ground okay see with respect to balloon the velocity of the packet would be zero okay as it is moving with the balloon initially but if we see with respect to the ground the velocity of this part uh, packet would be 12 meter per second only right and when it is released it will move at some distance in the air and then it will fall on the ground okay like this so if i say this time to be t equals to zero and this time it has taken time t equals to t seconds okay to reach the ground then we have uh, the initial velocity would be 12 meter per second okay let me take the positive y axis like this okay so we will have the initial velocity would be plus 12 meter per second the acceleration due to gravity would be acting in the downward direction so g would be equal to minus 10 meter per second square right and furthermore it, it is being displaced with a displacement of 65 meters okay and the displacement would be in downward direction okay from this point till this point the packet has to move 65 meters in displacement okay and it will is it and it is in downward direction so displacement would be minus 65 meters and we have to find the time t okay so we can use here the newton second equation of motion that is s equals to ut plus half a t square right so putting the values we will get minus 65 equals to 12 t plus half into acceleration is minus 10 into t square okay here acceleration is due to gravity so from here we can cancel this out by 5 and we will get minus 65 equals to 12 t minus 5 t square right and if i write this equation we will get 5 t square minus 12 t minus 65 equals to 0 okay so here we have got a quadratic equation so we can solve this by using the factorization method okay and the factors would be 5 t square minus 25 t plus 13 t minus 65 equals to 0 so from here we can make the factors as t minus 5 and t plus 13 okay so from here we will get two values of t that is t equals to 5 seconds or t equals to minus 13 seconds okay so time can never be negative so we will take the value of t equals to 5 seconds so the packet will take 5 seconds to reach the ground okay and from the given options a b c d option a is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today